Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I'm going to show you how to automate your time signature and tempo changes inside of Ableton Live's Session View. Let's go. I have a brand new live set open, and over here on the right side of your live set are your master scenes inside Session View. Whenever you launch a scene, whatever clips you have in your clip slots over in your audio and or MIDI tracks will play in that scene, okay? Now, in order to change the tempo and the time signature, all you have to do is rename the scene. When you open up a live set, its default settings are 120 BPM. You can see it over here in the top left and also for four time. All you have to do now to automate the time signature and tempo changes is to rename the master scenes over here on the right. Tell it what you want it to do. So in order to rename anything in Ableton, it is Command R. So for this demonstration, I'm going to keep number one, the first scene, at 120 and 44. So I'm just going to type in 120 BPM space 4 slash 4. Hit enter. Now for scene number two, we'll make the change. Command R to rename. I don't know, we'll go to 150 BPM space to 54. Hit enter. Scene number three, we'll get crazy here. Let's go to 200. Oh, I didn't hit Command R. My fault. Command R. 200 uh, BPM space 7 8 time. Enter. Scene number four. I don't know. What do you want to do? Let's go really slow. Let's hit Command R for rename. We're going to go to 103.5 because we can. BPM space. Take out the comma. That was a mistake. Okay, space. And we'll go to 3 4 time. And then to round it all out, scene number five, command R, we'll go back to 120 BPM space, back to 4-4 four, four time. All right, so now once I start launching these scenes, you'll hear with the click track change and the tempo change. Super simple, here we go. Here we go, now I'll change to 5-4. Changing to 200 BPM 7.8. Changing to 103.5 at 3.4. And then back to our original tempo. And stop. And that's all there is to it. Just rename the master scene and tell Ableton what you want it to do. Make sure when you type in the number for BPM, you put the letters BPM next to the number. And when you type in the time signature, just make sure you put the number in a slash and the other number, and it'll do whatever you tell it to do. Then whenever you launch those scenes, that's exactly what it will do because Ableton is cool like that, it is a super smart program and really easy to use. I hope you found this tutorial fun and uh, useful, and we'll see you here again soon. Take care.